episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by Solar Wolf Energy, the amazing team that supports us here. And with that said, let's dive right into today's topic. New York City, fantastic place, also known as the center of the universe, right? If you're in business, you will most likely over your career at some point have some kind of dealings with New York City, directly or indirectly, the company you work with, for whatever, will be doing business with someone, some company, something in New York City. Now, with that said, the sun is very important in New York City. Although, if you're down deep in Fifth Ave, you don't get to see very often all the buildings towering over you. But the five boroughs, a lot of homes, a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of condos and whatnot, a lot of flat roof areas for a lot of solar to be. Also community solar, which is basically solar that's installed outside, but brought in for the five boroughs. Now, this, from what I understand, the newly appointed governor, after the former governor unfortunately had to step down, uh, just raised the target from 2035 to 2040 from six gigawatts of solar to be installed to 10. I love the aggressive goal. Now, the problem here is this. Report came out in the news that it looks like the funding for a large portion of this might actually be going away. Now, there's a concern, I guess, from the underlings here that there is no money to refund this. I can understand that. And I hope that with all of the economic what's going on right now, bonds and everything else, the market's at a huge concern for a lot of people, both private and public life. All that aside, I think it's time as we start looking at maybe a possible feed-in tariffs, which is money paid over time, five year, 10 year, 15, 20 year commitments or whatever. That way there it's not all paid at once because that I feel like is what really is the constraint financially in any of these uh, solar incentive programs. This money will go from one place to another. Why not have it funneled into solar? And then that way there we have a green future for all of us, cities, metro, even the suburbs, everywhere, all of it together, this makes a lot of sense. And I hope the team, whoever's in charge over there in, in New York City can figure out a way to make this work because it's, it's absolutely vital for the state as well as the city itself to hit their goals. That said, thank you for watching the episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by the amazing team here, Solar Wolf Energy. Thanks.